We're doing a bag tour today. This is my beautiful girlfriend, Paige. She's been backpacking for about a year and a half now. This is all her gear. I've tried to give her some influence on what to do for her gear, but a lot of the gear she's actually decided to pick up on herself. Some things she picked up when she just started backpacking. Other things she's gotten along the way. Paige, why don't you tell us what's, what backpack is this? The Osprey Talon 44. It's my baby. Love of my life. This yeah. The second love of my life. Thank you. No, it's a really good bag. It's really comfy. This is what I wanted. It's pretty small. I've done up to a seven day food carry. I think it was pushing the weight limit a little bit, but she did good. She held up perfect. And it's only a 44 liter backpack. Um, so what's where should on, I start? What do you keep on the outside? Usually on the outside, I keep my rain jacket. This is my Patagonia rain jacket. What do you think to about To be it? determined really? what kind of jacket it is. What do I think about it? It's a good jacket. It's a really good windbreaker. It is not perfect. It's not perfect? <laughs> what are some of the areas? It very quickly started like leaking water a little bit, like around the shoulders. Yeah. After like, a few months of wear. And as well, just down by the wrist. I do really like that it has the armpit zips and it's got very large pockets so I can hold like two gloves. It's even got an inside pocket, which is really nice. Would you stick in the inside pocket? Nothing. I never use it. You never use the inside pocket? I never use the inside inside pocket. <laughs> it's a sexy setting feature. Yeah. Made out of Gore-Tex. And then I also keep, when I carry them, my tent stakes. We go back and forth when we hike together of who carries the stakes and who carries the tent, considering they weigh almost the same. If I was to be carrying the tent, it would go at the very top bag on the inside because it's so light. But stakes go on the outside. Durston X Mid Pro 2 Plus. Plus. Carry my water bottles on the outside and my tripod, but I'm using my tripod. So what do you keep in your hip belt? In Maybe. this hip belt, I keep the phone attachment to my tripod, and then I keep my SPF chapstick, and if I'm bringing it, sunscreen. On the other side, I just keep my phone. And your phone's your main camera? It's my main camera. Paige gets lots of really nice photos with her phone. She's living proof of you don't really need a full-size camera. Takes some very amazing photos. So in the brain, which I love because I can actually access it while I'm walking, I keep my filter. I stop for water stops. I can just pull my water bottle out, and I can pull my filter out from behind my head. I don't have to take my pack off, which is really Nice. I use the Catadine Bee Free, which I love. It's really easy to get water in and out of because it's got a nice wide hole. Yeah. Do you have the issue that it plugs up quite a bit, but you can clean it with hot water if you just like give it a good swish. Not the best thing for when you're out in the backcountry and it starts to plug up on you. And I do have like seven or eight pinhole leaks. I have contacted Catadine about it because they do have like a leak free guarantee. So we'll see if I can get a new bag from them. The only other thing I keep up here are my snacks. Big snack girl. I make my own snack packs. I book buy a bunch of things and then I I make little individual snack baggies out of them. If you guys are liking any of the gear that Paige has inside her backpack, go down to the description. I got links for every single item down there. Well, the other thing about this bag is that the brain is removable. On the inside of the brain, car key paste and toothbrush and like a little floss thing. I also have these energy gels to keep in here just since we did our winter hike last year. More of like an emergency thing, like if you're in a tough situation, you're getting really cold or something and you need to get to camp, pop one of these. So that's the outside of her Paige's backpack. Let's talk about Paige's clothing. It's a little bit colder out, stuff's not in her backpack. So usually like what I'm wearing right now would be at or near the top of my bag. I've got my Eddie Bauer fleece leggings. They're pretty nice, they're thin, like a three season legging. Yeah. <laughs> and then I just have like wool socks on because that's what I was sleeping. In. I hike in darn tough merino wool socks, which I really like. And I also hike in in gingy socks. That's a new thing. Uh, we already went over the Patagonia jacket. Underneath I have my Cathlon. Truck 100. Yeah, we love her. In the woman's cut. Really nice. Again, it's got nice big pockets. It's got a nice hood. It's really warm. No complaints. You can see if, just from looking at one sleeve, I've washed mine incorrectly. Have you ever washed it? I've never washed it. Okay, Paige has never washed hers, <laughs> but like she's- Which I also don't recommend. But you can see how mine is quite flat. The loft yeah. has disappeared on it, where Paige is so quite, it's quite puffy still. Half on Trek 100 is a great jacket. I've had mine for years. She's had her hers for a year. Like, hold, uh, do you have any rips in your decathlon? No, nope. some stains. And then underneath of it, I have my, just like a basic fleece that I got from the thrift store. I haven't replaced it because it's not broken. What do you use for a shirt to hike in? I used to use just like a Walmart dry shirt, one of their active shirts. And then I recently found on sale an Outdoor Research Sun hoodie. Love it, live in it. I'm only not wearing it today because Dakota said it smelled too bad. <laughs> it smelled so bad. It's an SPF shirt. It just like limits the amount of sunscreen I need to buy. It's super lightweight. It dries really quickly. I also sleep in it. Can't recommend it enough. In my bag. Got the garbage bag. It just uses a traditional garbage bag as a pack liner. These are my, these are from Decathlon. These are my rain pants. They were pretty cheap. I think they were like 40 or 50 bucks. Honestly, like no complaints about them. They've got the zipper. They're easy to put on. They're not that waterproof. They work really well as a windbreaker and to keep like mist off. They've got a nice drawstring, zipper, button. They can pack into this little pocket. My first aid kit. It's pretty light. Yeah, Not much it's else to say light. about that. 
I do have first aid training, so I know how to use everything in here. If I don't know how to use it, I don't bring it. This is my luxury item, Kindle. I do keep it in a plastic bag. I also have our passports in here because I don't trust people. Super light, it has a ton of books on here. Really like it because often when we come up, Dakota's shooting sunset or it also helps me fall asleep, just read a chapter before bed. And this is my disposable camera. I will be doing a video on this when my two remaining photos are done and I get it <laughs> developed. It doesn't weigh very much, but I just like chuck it in my bag. And this morning when we could actually see the glacier, I snapped a little photo of it. So I don't know the quality, we'll see. It's my hat, it's really light, it's quick dry. What company is it? Backpack. Got it in New Zealand because I brought a hat with me and lost it within three weeks three, of couple being weeks. here. Bought this one, which I actually like better anyways. This is my electronics bag. I keep it in the same bag that Dakota keeps his in. Yes, that does cause confusing problems. I cut off the black strap on the outside so we can tell the difference between the two. <laughs> this one bag usually just sits in the tent overnight. I've got my Black Diamond Storm headlamp. She's okay. She's a really good headlamp when it's fully charged. Three AAA batteries. It's got red light, it's got like spotlight, and it's got floodlight. But as soon as you go down two bars, it just starts being super dim and it's not rechargeable. So I'll probably get a new one that I actually bought for Dakota and he didn't like it. So I used it. I like the rechargeable ones. Yeah. <laughs> I keep my earplugs in here. I keep three earplugs in case, case lose I lose one. one. Yeah, I've got my iPhone charger. I've got a Kindle charger. And I've got my Apple Watch charger in here. And this is my... So you got a 10,000 milliamp hour 10, power bank? Milliamp. It's pretty heavy, but it does the job. Yeah, and that's it. That's all that's in there. This is my favorite bag. <laughs> <laughs> this is my food bag. I do keep it all contained in this. And I think that comes from the mindset of like being in bear country where you have to like lock your food up and, at night in a bear box. Kind of unnecessary. Out. New Zealand, like there's no predator that you have to watch out just like a lot of pesky native birds black yeah. and kias actually there's a hole in this bag from a weka that tried to get into my food successfully yeah. a pot oh. this is not my pot this is dakota's pot because we switched pots oh it stinks okay so this is my pot that i'm never sharing with dakota ever again it's a tox titanium 1100 milliliter love this thing came with a lid slash frying pan i don't use it ever but this thing's really good it boils water really fast so i use this i don't bring cup or anything i just do everything just with this one pot but this is my spoon sea to summit camp sea kitchen summit. pretty blue i do wish i had a spork i might get one of those soon just because i've started doing more noodles instead of freeze-dried food we're on a journey make sure to subscribe just check it out i've seen you guys' comments i'm still working on the food video i have posted a food video on my instagram account if you want to look at it so keep just my fuel in that bag and my stove. So I bought this here, spent way more money than I should have on it, and it's bulky and heavy, but other than that, I have no complaints about it. It's a good stove. And of course, the lighter. This is my Thermarest Neo Air X Therm sleeping pad, mommy style, and the woman's. Uh, I really like it. What's the R rating on this? 6.9. This is the pre-NXT version. Bought it a few months before the NXT came out. That sucks. I also have in here a repair kit, the leak kit for it. Two of them, actually, because I have yours. And a pump sack, which... You should always use an inflation sack. It'll introduce moisture if you just blow straight into it. In an insulated sleep pad, that'll cause the insulation to clump up and not be as effective. This is a tube. It's like a no-name brand. I think I literally got it from like a bookstore. Not the warmest thing in the world, but... I like it and it's cute. Backpack gloves, a buff that my mom bought me. It's a fleece buff, love it to death. I sleep in it and I'll pull it up on my nose so my nose doesn't get cold at night. And then this, the star of the show, my Rav Neutrino 400W, the 800 fill, Pertex exterior. It's rated to minus seven, that's a lie. It's probably comfort to zero. <laughs> so I slept in this last night with everything I'm wearing plus my rain pants, my toque and my buff, and I was nice and toasty warm. She's pretty good, it's a mummy style bag. It's my very first sleeping bag, I love her a lot. It does have a hood, so I can kind of pull the hood over my head and I can tighten up the drawstring, and it just keeps me nice and toasty. The drawstring also limits the amount of cold air that gets in while I'm sleeping, so I can keep the warm air in there. I think the next bag I get will be a super warm bag, and this is a really good pre-season bag. This is my sleep liner. This is multi-purposed. It, A, increases the warmth of your bag, slightly but it does add maybe a couple degrees to your bag yeah maybe it also keeps the bag clean this is the sea to summit thermolite I'm using it a lot for a year and a bit and it's holding up really well it's got a couple holes in the foot but i'm just gonna sew those up this is the first thing i've replaced <laughs> 
So again, I've only been backpacking for a year and a half and I had a checkology pillow and it started leaking a couple months into being in New Zealand, but I have replaced it with a Sea to Summit Eros Premium Regular. It is a huge upgrade for me. It's the same, roughly the same size in width. It's a little bit smaller, which is fine for me. It's got like a fleece lining. So it's just really comfy to sleep on. It's not like that tough, like plasticky feel on your face when you're sleeping. So I love it so far, no complaints. And I think, yeah, that's everything. So sometimes, depending on the hike, I will bring my down pants. Can't even remember what they are right now. Major hike. For colder hikes, I did not bring them on this one because it is very wet around here. We're basically in a bog and we're in a cloud. So everything is wet. Down just doesn't do that well in wet. So I brought fleece and vortex. I also bring a fresh dry pair of wool socks that I can change into to sleep with so that my feet aren't wet. Paige also uses a backpack trekking pole. Same one I use, just the other one. <laughs> the other one. They come with, they come together. Everything we've bought in, in my video and Paige's video, bought with our own money. I feel like by looking at the size of this channel, that should be obvious. We have bought everything out of our own pocket, so. We're getting the honest feedback with things. No, we're not sponsored by anyone. Today's video is sponsored though by me and us on for these adventures. If you'd like to help support us, go over to my website and go check out some of the prints. You can see the beautiful San Joseph Glacier right behind us. Franz Joseph Glacier. Franz Joseph Glacier behind us. Did I say it right? Yeah. I'll have some prints from this little mini adventure. I'll leave those down in the description too. Landscape photography is my passion. So what's got me into backpacking made me kind of nerd out on all the gear. It's the thing that's kind of forced me to get more advanced with everything, get everything a lot lighter. Because I carry a lot of camera gear with me and I want my bag as light as possible so I don't hurt my back and whatnot. Shoot me an email and we can get you set up with a print. Check out Paige's Instagram at Paige Guthrie. Okay.